Good evening. I'm Risa Diaz. This is One News Now. NCR Police Chief Debold Sinas, who found himself on the hot seat for holding a manyanita amid the lockdown, figures in another controversy. This time, he is accused of leading a team of policemen that allegedly harassed the family to leave their house near a police headquarters. Marion Enriquez has the rest of the story. In this CCTV footage that was posted on Facebook by Arles de los Santos, a number of PNP personnel trooped in front of the garage of a home near the Southern Police District headquarters in Taguig around 4 p.m. on Saturday. <laughs> NCRPO Chief Debold Sinas is seen giving instructions to the group. He was telling his men to remove the tires and barbed wires that barricade the entryway. Then two men appeared, one of them in a wheelchair. They are brothers Arles and Mike Arnel de los Santos, who have been living there for 10 years now. In his post, Arl said that an officer grabbed his phone when he tried to take a video of the conversation. In another video also posted by Arls, one of the officers appeared to be taking a swing at the 20-year-old but eventually turned around. Arl said uniformed personnel have been urging them to vacate the place since March, but he says it was the first time on Saturday that Sinas himself showed up. In a statement, the NCRPO chief explained that the area being occupied by the De Los Santoses is the property of the Southern Police District, as granted by a memorandum of agreement with the Philippine Navy, which is the original owner. Sinas insisted that the family had to leave the area because Arl's father had already retired from the service. The Patriarch was a member of the PNP Regional Logistics Division. He added that it was made clear to De Los Santos that after his retirement, his family will be given enough time to vacate the premises, considering that it is a government property. Sina said they've had several dialogues, notices, and attempts to settle the issue, but the retired employee refused to talk to them and apparently brought his family to the quarters. The siblings, however, criticized the cops for forcing their way in. Ang amin lang po, nakmakipag-usap sila ng maayos, magpakita sila ng papel, tapos mag-usap kami. Hindi yung dadalhan po nila kami ng, ng harad ng napakadaming polis and magpapresenta po sila ng mga dahas. The SPD will rehabilitate the property to turn it into a quarantine facility for officers infected with COVID-19. The De Los Santos siblings argued that their grandfather has the land title. Arles told us he also showed policemen a certificate of occupancy. Sa lolo po kasi namin yung lupa. So meron po siyang claims. And um, dito po, barracks po kasi ito ng mga polis dati. He said they asked the policemen for any document formally ordering them to leave the area, but the police were not able to provide one. Ang sinasagot lang po nila sa bawat tanong namin is sigaw at pambabraso po na ginagawa nila. The barangay also appeals to the police to refrain from harassing the family and settle the issue in court instead. Pakiusap ko kala general po, asina sa kakaya general ateralta, huwag na silang iharas. Kaya mo, let's the court hala yung dumalo yung sa, sa korte. Pagbaba ng resolusyon, mag-usap kayo. A legal team from the PNP came over to the De Los Santos residence to talk to the siblings. The Southern Police District's legal counsel says they will set a dialogue with the family's lawyer and the patriarch over the matter. For News 5, Marian Enriquez, we are One News. Now here are other stories we're keeping our eyes on. Four staff from the office of the vice president have been infected with the coronavirus, according to spokesman Abari Gutierrez. He clarifies, however, that the vice president tested negative for COVID-19. The Foreign Affairs Department said that three more countries have already lifted restrictions for Filipino travelers subject to medical protocols. These are Macau, Croatia, and Senegal. 
And DILG Undersecretary Martin Adinho says he is in favor of a martial law style show of a military force to instill discipline among residents during the pandemic. He touted the impact of the large military trucks on reducing transmission rates in Cebu by discouraging dissidents. But Dino clarified that he proposed or his proposed shame campaign is not geared towards coronavirus patients but towards those who insist on leaving their homes without face masks. Now for more updates, follow News 5, the Philippine Star, and Business World Online. You may also visit our website, onenews.ph, for more in-depth analysis. You can also catch One News on Signal Play app. Register for a free account now at www.signalplay.com and, and stream One News Live anytime, anywhere. I'm Riza Diaz. We are One News.